today we're here at the Tim and Pines Golf Course. Um, beautiful day out in Tanunda, just uh, north near the Barossa near Sepples Field. Uh, first hole here, we've got a par four, playing off the blues today, 276 metre par four, dog leg right. And with me today, I have uh, my cousin, Angus, local golf expert, so we'll see how we go today. Beautiful. When you're ready. Oh, stinger. Oh, low one. It's going to go out of bounds, I reckon. It's going to run up into some awkward territory there. Probably right. I probably shouldn't have played driver, but... That's all right. Oh, that's going to be a bit long left, I think. Oh, no. Actually, that's playing all right. Pretty perfect. Nice. Good start in the first hole there. Alrighty, first shot ended up quite well here. Is this on the fairway? Got 102 to the, I've got 102 to the flag and 86 to the green. I'm gonna play pitching wedge and choke down on it and just see if I can't work with the green here. Oh, that's right below my feet, that's uncomfortable. Oh, this will be an interesting shot. So maybe to the left side of the green to account for the, the movement I know I'm gonna get hitting downhill. Beautiful setup. Might go a little far. It's gonna be a bit long, I think. Yeah. Oh, actually, that doesn't look too bad. No, you're on. Yep. On, on in two, on in reg, so I'll take that. Um, I don't know what to do here, under the tree. Honestly, good decision. Yep, I couldn't get under the tree, really, but. Yeah, gives you a good look for your third shot in, and gives you the opportunity to at least save the par. Oh. That's got to sit there. That chip, that'll stay there nicely. For a birdie opportunity here. It's moving right to left. You can, that was that noise. <laughs> Country noises, all the birds. What is it? All the birds, I reckon. That sounds bizarre. I don't know if the mic can pick it up, but it's some sort of like, noise. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, yeah, it very comes weird. Comes down. <laughs> right to left and it sort of breaks about halfway, so that's not too bad. That was piss weak. <laughs> not to make excuses, but I may or may not have hit an ant. <laughs> Mid shot there. <laughs> Might end up with a bogey on the first hole, but no, I'm confident I can nail this here. Lovely line. Oh, too short. Oh, bogey, I'll take that. Considering um, how far I was. Pretty straight, I reckon. For bogey? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, for bogey. That's pretty, pretty straight. Pretty straight, yeah. I'd say that's, that is dead straight. If yeah. not, just like the, like a centimetre, no, no, not even right edge of the cup, just a centimetre to the, off the middle, to the, towards the uh, second tee. You'll be fine. If you, it's pretty much dead straight. Yeah. Part. Good part. Yep. Good start. Bogies, Good start. bogeys all round for the start. We've got a par four, 383 metres from the from the blues today. Um, oh, your longest club is preferred and unfortunately today with no driver. My longest club is a three iron. <laughs> Earlier in the week I actually broke my uh, broke my driver. Um, just at the range. Nothing nothing crazy, but uh, yeah, it was a uh, not really ideal, especially playing a course off the blues today, but uh, we've worked with that and we've worked with a three iron before for most of my golf, so nothing new really. Let's uh, just see if we can't put one down the middle here. Oh, I've hooked that, and that's out of bounds, I reckon. Might be on the road. There we go. It's down the fairway. Well, it is a pretty good. Pretty but long course to play with just a three iron. So. Yeah, I'll see how we go. A little draw as well. <laughs> oh, the tee's landed as well. <laughs> <laughs> the tee landed back in the ground. Oh. Alrighty. Second shot. Oh, actually, sorry. Technically, this is the fourth shot. Um, <laughs> I've really screwed myself over here. 232 metres. <laughs> it is playing downhill. Um, but I will not be able to hit that, so I am going to just trap a three iron all the way down this hill. That's going to go real low. 
Loose. Skinny, down. That was very low. That was the stingeriest stinger I've ever hit. This has turned out to be a real shocker second hole. Um, ball is lost. And, uh, Shouldn't be too bad of a looks, shot in. It looks like uh, my cousin has managed to find a lucky bounce off the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or he's got a friend lurking and has thrown one out. But is that is that actually his ball is the real question. It could be yes. a loose ball from somewhere yes, else. Yes, it is. It is his ball. And that is lucky as. He's got the luckiest members bounce I've ever seen from a non-member. He's still got a fair way to go. <laughs> uh, about pro probably got like 160. What that? What's that blue? One. That's 150, I think. That's 150. So you've at least One, got 170. You've got no. <laughs> 180. If that's 50, you've got probably another 30 meters plus. You've got like you've got like almost 180 meters to here. Yeah, probably. So yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to get that down there. Another stinger in. Oh, that will run down nicely. So, looks like a nice lie. I don't know what shot this is. It'll, the counter in the top left corner will say, about 76 meters to get to the center of the green. Going downhill, it's probably like a 52 degree wedge. Let's see how close we can stick this thing. That's too far. That is miles too far. I full swung that. I should have three quartered that. <laughs> looks like deep rough as well. That's a good chip, that looks Gus. Like a nice That's a great chip. Par so far. That is a great, great chip, mate. This is sitting on an angle, and I've got to hit it up. So anything sitting off an angle is going to be hard to get up like that. I might have to hit into the hill almost. Oh, I've hit it too high up the hill. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to have an absolute nightmare editing this one. Pretty straight except for the end. So if I just, on that line there. Great part though. Oh, that's annoying. You can go. This has just been a nightmare hell. Par putt here. Um, a little bit left to right, but barely. Just on the edge, I reckon. I'm seeing it fairly straight, maybe just a tad on the. Like... No, that's too far. There's, no, there's not that much Do you movement. Reckon? There's not that much movement. If anything, no. it's sloping or what? Oh, it looks, looks pretty straight. It's mate. uphill, I, a little. I, I would say it's straight and uphill. Yeah. So there's no left to right. Oh, did come back at the end a little bit, but... It no. went across, it went the other way. Yeah, another, thinking. another tap in bogey. I was going to say, tap in bogey, tap, take that. Yep. Well, there's really no surprise as to what club I'm about to play. <laughs> it's like any time you play out the driver, I have to play three on. Oh, you're kidding. That came right off the toe. <laughs> um. You can see the ball mark on it. Alrighty, got a long... How far have we got to the hole? We've got a long way to the hole. 137 metres to the front of the green. We are currently playing under some trees, so I'm going to have to play some sort of trophy draw. Come back, come back, come back. That's really nice. Should be on the edge. Edge of the green, yep. I'll be right. Oh. Hit the divot, hit the mound in front of it. Ooh, we've got our third shot here. Just off the, just off the side of the green, which not a bad position to be in, to be honest. Let's see if I can't just chip one up there. It did go right to left. That's right. Oh, top. this is for par. This is for par, it's moving right to left a little bit. Oh, 
a bit short. Pretty good line though. Yeah, just a bit harder would have been perfect. Oh, no. oh, that's just so funny. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today on uh, another Fairway Finder review. We're here at the, we were here at Tanunda Park, and today, Tanunda Pines Golf Course. Uh, beautiful, lovely course, uh, located about 15 minutes out from Steffels Field. Um, you know, really great conditions. If you, if you live up this way in the country, um, towards in the Barossa, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. It's a great little course out here. Um, sort of shades of, uh, Chunga in terms of a country course, but in terms of uh, you know the courses up here, this is certainly one of the, the nicer courses I've uh, seen. So thanks as always, and uh, I'll see you in the next see you in the next review.